morning everyone. So today we've got a Porsche 996 in for an audio upgrade and then an audio replacement. So this is the vehicle here. So originally the customer came in for a level one system upgrade to replace the uh, aftermarket kit that was installed back in the early 2000s and bring it up to date with one of the newer units for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, that kind of thing. So when we started doing that job, we took out all of the old stuff. We found out that they rewired everything so that the original amplifier wasn't powering any of the speakers. It was just going straight from the new aftermarket stereo. We took it as an assumption that it was because they just wanted to upgrade and whatnot. So we changed everything out, put the new unit into this car, and then found out that the original amplifier was dead. The original amplifier was dead. Unfortunately, there was nothing we could do with it. And that's this unit here. So the customer then decided to go for a level four upgrade, replace this amplifier with a new Audison amplifier, and replace all the speakers with a nice Hertz set. So what we're gonna be doing is making new mounting plates, installing a new amplifier in the front, which is connecting to all the factory wiring. Then we're gonna be replacing all of the speakers inside, a bit of soundproofing in the doors, and then we're gonna be installing a new sub box in the back to replace the um, Bose sub that's in the back. So we'll pop and see Carl, see how we're getting on. You've been removing everything. Are you ready to take the door card off, are you? Yep. Cool, so we're going to be removing the door cards to then take a look inside and see what speakers are in there, how, what the housings are like, what's going on behind there, and then gain access to the outside skin so we can start soundproofing the outside skins to improve the sound quality inside the vehicle. which is in its own weird and wonderful little housing. It's been designed by Bose, and this housing has been designed to increase the base supported box. It's almost like a subwoofer box, but for inside the door. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun trying to make the new speakers fit that. As I open this and show you, we have a slight size difference. And six and a half speaker going in. probably a four, maybe a three and a half. So we'll get to that in a little while. I'm gonna to have to mess about and try and make up some new brackets to get that going in. The mid-range and tweeter will be a little bit easier. So if we look on the back, we've got roughly same size, three-ish inch, and the same size, one and a bit inch for the tweeter. That shouldn't be too bad, but we're still gonna to have to have a little bit of modeling and making for that to work. The amplifier, it's going to be the fun bit. So the original amp is a compact little unit, nice and simple. Ours is also a compact unit, but it's not quite as compact. So we're going to have to have a little bit of a session with some panelling, making up different mounts, trying to fit that in the front. <laughs> Got a couple of bits here in my hands. I'll go and sit down at the computer and I'll explain what I'm doing. So, with this Porsche, it's a little bit different to the normal speaker adapters that we've made because the original speaker is a small little four inch speaker inside its own housing, almost like a subwoofer box, which is then designed to fit in the aperture of the door. It's sort of in around the glass, around the electrics, that kind of thing. Once that's taken out, there's just a bloody great big gap there. There's, it's huge. So no speaker's gonna fit in there straight away. So we need to make up a speaker adapter to fit the door, not a speaker adapter to fit where an original speaker would have been. So what I've done is I've made the template, which you would have seen earlier, and that now will be the basis of my speaker adapter. So I've made my template, I've scanned it in here, and I'll now start to build up a 3D model from this base plate to then house the speaker sitting something along those lines. All right, I'll get cracking.
we are finished popping the platform in and putting the carpet back down now, so we've got the base for our sub box ready to go. If you want to follow me, we're going to head over to the wall and start with the sub box. So, what we've got over here is a lot of gobbledygook, but it's the calculations for the sub box because we know two dimensions, so we've done the calculations to give us the other dimensions to make the sub box. So, with all this information, we're now going to start drawing down and writing down a cut list that we'll then take to the wood room to start making the box. So that is the install all wrapped up. So now we're gonna actually be going through, firstly, what the final spec of the system is, then we're gonna be listening to the system so you guys can actually experience it for yourselves. It's all good and well hearing about all the products that are going in, seeing how we're doing the work, but it's all about those final results. However, listening to it over social media platforms just doesn't quite cut it. If you do wanna to listen to the system and actually experience it, feel free to come by, book a consultation, or just pop in, come by, we've got multiple cars ready for you guys to listen to. So if you wanna experience that proper sound, come by, and I'll be great to show you guys and showcase exactly how good these systems actually are. So this is actually one of the packages, or two packages from the website. So on our website, we've got lots of different packages available depending on cars, but this is the Porsche 996. So we've got level one, which is basically on our website, so you get the spec and also what you're getting. So that is the double ding conversion featuring Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all completely wirelessly, so adding functionality. And also what this unit does is quite a little bit more. So we've also added a reversing camera onto the screen as well. So that is level one. Then in terms of the actual sound, we've gone for level four. So this is basically a three-way front end. So we're using the Hertz Mille Pro range for the tweeters, mid ranges on top of the dashboard, mid bases in the doors, 20 sheets of soundproofing, a five channel amplifier, which is mounted in the front tub. And then you also have got a 10 inch Prima sub in a custom box behind on that shelf, which looks absolutely stunning but the sound is what we're really all about. But this has pricing, timescale, as well as full spec, all live on our website, guys. So we showcase, like in our videos, we don't hide anything. We show you guys everything. Same with everything on our website. It's all available for you guys to check out and see. And choose the right package for you. If you're not sure of what to choose, get in touch with me. I'll go through different options. Come by, listen to something, and you guys can gauge what will be right for you. But a bit of an overview of the system so far. You've seen how the install's been done. Now, let's have a listen to it. So we've got a little sub controller here as well, so we can bring the sub in and out. I see you struggle Like butterflies in water Can't get moving forward I see your shoulders Close my eyes and go back, play it in my mind. 
The movie covers too, yeah We were happy at the time Can't remember what it felt like We used to be so strong That picture perfect sky so after hearing that, you guys can now understand how good this system sounds. So if you own one of these cars, know how it sounds. Just night and day difference. But the big thing about this system, and I've actually heard many, many systems installed elsewhere of a very similar spec in different cars. They don't sound like this. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Firstly is the time we take to do an install. Secondly, the way an install is done. So firstly, soundproofing is such an important part of doing a system. So when a door card is removed, we go through, tighten every screw inside that door. Over time, even brand new cars, you've seen it on Defenders that we've done on the brand new M2, screws were loose from factory. So tightening all them up, making everything a lot more solid, then soundproofing it, plus then obviously adding a cloth around the clips to make sure everything is nice and tight inside that door so we're not getting any rattles and resonations. So it just sounds nice and solid. But like, for instance, that 10 inch sub, the start of the back towards base. You've heard me mention it before, but base is so, so important for that box to be bolted down correctly. So this system sounds absolutely incredible and that sub kicks so nicely. Not only is the box correct for that product, but also how it's actually installed is the bit that makes the real difference. Then inside the doors, we've got the soundproofing, we've got the mid base, and that is using that 3D printed adapter, which really does make a solid structure for the system to go into, plus allows for a bigger speaker to go in to that location as well. Next, on top of the dashboard, the clarity. Again, 3D printed adapters housing those speakers really does help still with the higher frequencies and just overall install the quality of cables that we're using, the way we've done the cable runs means that you haven't got any hissing noise, you haven't got any of that awful noise that you get in the background, but you've got just pure clarity, transfer of sound, just sounds absolutely incredible in here. So. I'm over the moon with the finished results. Car is now ready to hand over to our client and I'm sure they are gonna absolutely love this one. So thank you once again for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and seen the absolute transformation of the Porsche 996 from the Bose system to the Cambridge Cardio treatment. So once again, thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one.